Right, that's all the grey done on the carcasses. And I think it was this one that had the red staining from the swatch. Or was it this one? Either way, I can't find it, so it's gone. But they're going up to the job now, make some space. I can get the doors on and start spraying those. Well, all those panels went up to the house where I'm going to be working. I can get the doors on here, but I need to give these a wipe down first. It was getting a lot of dust. You see it on the floor here. This is just, just over spray, dust from the air. But last night I made a mistake. I left paint in the gun. So first thing I'm gonna have to do is give that a good clean. It needs a good scrub anyway, so I'll get on with that. Well, I gave it a rinse out with some old thinners, got as much paint out as I could. And I have a selection of tools, some brushes, I have a little brush, it's getting a bit old. A brass wire brush, you don't want a steel one, you don't want to scratch anything. Sponge. Spanners, taking it to bits. Find the right one. That one. Lots of paint still stuck in there. Look. Back here you got your adjuster knob with a spring. They don't normally need cleaning, so I'll put them to one side. Then you got your pin. You don't want to scratch this, so I'm just gonna use the soft sponge or maybe the scourer, get that clean. Stick that in there. And on the face here, you got your fan. Sometimes there's a plastic ring, oh, it's there. There's a plastic ring there. You don't want to use soap or water, anything like that. Just use thinners. As always, you don't want to introduce any, any contaminants of any kind. That needs proper clean, that needs a proper clean, and inside there needs a proper clean. There's nothing special about it, just give it a good clean. I'm going to give this a good clean, you don't need to clean inside here, but I'm going to give the gun a clean, give this a clean, give them a bit of a wipe over with this, make sure everything's shiny. 
that's it. Nothing, nothing hard about it really. Uh, I've given the gun a clean this bit in here where the paint flows through. That's important. Now I'm cleaning the nozzle, the needle I mean. You want to make sure that the tip's clean. Like I say, don't use any abrasives on it. You can see why I've got long fingernails now. Sponge scourer. You don't want to scratch this. So give that a good clean. These are important, these have got little vent holes that blow air onto the stream of paint that comes out which flattens it and gives you the fan pattern. So that needs a good clean. Use little needles if you need to get in there, get them clean. This needs to be clean all the way down, especially around the tip where the needle goes in. If there's any little debris in there it'll push the paint around one way or the other. I believe that's soaking some cleaner fluid. You probably should wear some gloves. This stuff probably isn't good for you. In here I've got some little pins from the nail gun. Just fit those holes. Don't know if they fit the small one. Yeah, just. Give them a blowout. This is scrub. Some of this paint is from AC paint or free cap paint, which has got a different solvent, so it's not coming off as easily as, as the PU because this is PU thinners that I'm using. They have a different different thinners. Alright, shiny shiny. Not shiny as it's going to get anyway, let's put it out there. First things first, little plastic thing in there. Nozzle on. I've blown all these out so that any any crud that I've dislodged has gone. Tighten that up. Needle. Clean. Goes in the back there. Spring. And then I wind it in till it just just starts to move the lever, you see. So you're getting full flow out of the end there. And this cap, which you can direct to change your fan pattern. I 
I normally leave it horizontal. Some of the other guns you can just turn this, but you can't with this one for some reason. It's locked in place. It's pretty clean in there. Cap. There you go. It's about as clean as it's been for a long time. But ready to get prime on doors now. And before I fill it with paint, I'm going to put some clean thinners through it. Just a little bit. <coughs> 